What's up, wild people? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Alexandria Denise, and this is my little garden. Just giving you a quick little update on my blueberry bush. This one has proved to be the star over this one. Yeah, as you can see, it's already it's been this uh, season. Nothing is really blooming on this one here, but these little sprouts, and that's okay. You know, honestly, I'm beginning to believe that this one is probably more of a year old, so it's probably not that old to start um, sprouting any type of blueberries because usually two years in, they do that. But this one here has proven to be the star, and I am ready to harvest some nice, juicy blueberries. Yeah. I tell you, blueberries are actually one of my favorite berries outside of strawberries, but my strawberries were actually doing pretty well this season. Um, I didn't have a problem with the ants since acidifying the soil and uh, doing a couple of tricks like putting cinnamon out and coffee grains in the, um, in the pot. I didn't have any problems out of ants this year. So that is miraculous. I would definitely be doing that next year as well as buying more strawberry plants and probably getting a drip irrigation system installed. But uh, in the last video, I acidified the soil of both this one and this one. And while the leaves have actually perked up on this one here, uh, of course, like I said, it's not sprouting any type of blueberries. So I'm gonna give it another year. Hopefully this coming winter, we'll have like a nice cold one to wear It'll bear good fruit. Good fruit for next year. Just pluck that off. It's a dead piece of branch there. Actually, I had to come over here and prune them too. But as for this here, look at that. Look at that. Nice, juicy blueberry. And I'm plucking them right now because when they get a certain... Um, ripeness they start to fall off and as you can see i got some already down at the bottom of the pan i don't want these to go to waste even if i'm not quite uh ready to eat them still they can last up in the fridge for about two weeks or so but i'm getting back to eating them anyway because every morning i actually eat them in my oatmeal so before these started to ripen i went to the store and bought some blueberries and I'm still, still going through those. But you know what? You know what? I think I'm gonna just go ahead and skip the store ones and of course put these on up in there. It's the only downfall though about growing my own blueberries is that I gotta wait for them to ripen versus I got blueberries already ripe in the store. So since these just got ripe, I got this little container here that I had the strawberries in yeah straw store bought strawberries because it's like my strawberries here they only got like the size of a nickel they didn't get that big but yeah I'm gonna do better on the strawberries next year as you can see this one has already stopped fruiting but carefully pick these off so I don't knock off the ones that aren't right. Yeah. Eager to know how they taste. Now, they've got other, there are some other berries also that are in season as of right now. I was taking a little trail walk doing some scouting for this coming hunting season came across some wild blackberries i was going to do a foraging video on that so stay tuned but it just feels good nice to know that i can harvest some nice berries from my own yard you know if i had my own land i definitely would be planting blueberry bushes Plenty more where that came from. All for me. Yeah. Give me a couple of nice ones for in the morning. I'm going to put that in my oatmeal. Yep. 
so there you have it blueberry update i got some other goodies in my garden too the zucchini is coming along got a little snail on it off ugh off with you not quite ready to harvest it probably would do it in the next two days and i got another zucchini i love zucchini and squash i got my yellow squash over here i finally planted the correct one mr crookneck last year i planted a winter squash and it got the size of a melon now i also have my heirloom tomatoes this one's coming along really nicely as well as that one and this one. The other two, bah, they died. Died, died. But the star of my garden this year, <gasps> corn. Yes, the corn has been amazing. There has been some trials to it, but I finally got them to grow this tall. And it took a little bit of organic gardening there. Only this is still the organic soil that I put. Same in the blueberries. And I've yet to produce my corn bed video because this was going to be a big reveal, but I decided to go ahead and just tell you about it. But it's already starting to develop some ears here. And I think each one of these, they're non-GMO and but don't tell monsanto that they're non-gmo and uh, they're supposed to produce anywhere from six to eight ears of corn and i got some late season corn now sprouting here i just planted this last week so they should be good in august this one it's kind of early on in the season so yeah expect to do some good stuff with that but I'm very proud of my little garden gang. Oh, oh, and over here, I actually have something for the little pollinators. Yes, these are gonna be wildflowers and zeanas for the little hummingbirds and the bees. Now I planted these a little earlier, but they also died. I don't know what was happening. A lot of my stuff around here died. Even the zucchini. Actually, the zucchini is not the ones that I planted last year. Now, I saved the seeds from the zucchini plants of last year. And um, I planted them this year, which they were doing very well in the early season. Uh, but I planted them too early. I planted them like February and kept them in the house. You may have seen those videos where I transplanted it. But, um, yeah, they actually died. I had like two surviving ones. And they were doing well for a moment. And then, flop. There they go. So actually, and the same thing with the squash. I uh, actually, no, no. The squash, if I can't remember. No, the zucchini were the only ones that I bought um, already planted. The squash actually is germinated from uh, the seeds out of the pack. There we go. Yeah, so I only bought uh, zucchini plants, planted them, and as you can see, they're kind of wilting away too, but whatever. But these got from the seed uh, pack. These uh, got from uh, the nursery already sprouted. So that's the only difference that I had to do because season was winding down. Everything's getting late. But uh, yeah, other than that, this is my proud little garden. I'm so happy about my corn. Can't wait to taste how sweet the ears are mm. but anyway I'm gonna have more updates to come as I said before I'm on these guys time and they're doing pretty well we've gotten some really good rain here as of late so yep good the rain good rain all right well if you like the video subscribe leave it a thumbs up and share but until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.